causes and fixes for yellow or brown aquarium water friends aquarium water usually is clear and colorless but from time to time it can become cloudy or tinted unexpected yellow or brownish colored water is usually a sign of trouble although there are cases when it is not a problem to ensure that your aquarium habitat is safe for your fish investigate yellow or brown water promptly to determine the root cause so that you can correct it if needed before continuing this video and telling you all the exact answers to this let us welcome you all to our channel blue aquatics where you all get the best information about flower horn fish keeping first let's discuss about bacteria bacteria overgrowth often referred to as bacterial blossom or bloom which will cause cloudiness the water may appear to be gray or milky but bacteria do not tint the water yellow brown or even green any time the water takes on a distinctly yellow or brown tint the problem is dissolved organic material rather than bacteria so you can rule out bacteria blossom as the root cause keep in mind that there can be multiple issues going on at the same time if you have tinted water that is also very cloudy rather than clear you may have a couple of different issues to contend with it could be dissolved organic compounds dissolved organic compounds often cause tinted or cloudy water but what does that mean dissolved organic compounds are organic matter broken down in water it could be fish waste uneaten food that has decayed decaying plant parts or even dead decomposing fish parts these sources can result in dissolving organic compounds in the water which can change its makeup these compounds ultimately impact the health of your fish over time these compounds will contribute to change the water chemistry that can harm the fish dissolved organic compounds will also create unpleasant odors and make the aquarium look less attractive another reason could be tannins the presence of tannins is one of the causes for brown or yellow water that is usually not a problem tannins are also present in driftwood over time they will leach into the aquarium water staining it yellow to brown tannins lower the ph of the water and soften it for some fish this may be desirable and even recommended this particularly true of fish from south america that requires soft acidic water to thrive and promote spawning now let's discuss some troubleshooting steps a few indicators can explain the root cause of water discoloration and resolve the problem the first step is to test the water and determine the ph ammonia nitrate and nitrate levels also scrutinize the tank do you notice a lot of debris are there dead plants uneaten food on the substrate or perhaps even a missing fish that might be hidden somewhere and decomposing do you have any drift food in the tank is the filter running normally does the water have form on surface if you take some water put it in a closed container and shake it does it produce form form is an indicator of protein waste in the water now discuss about fixing the water discoloration once you have completed your tests and observations you can determine the next course of action first of all discuss about tannins an acidic ph along with driftwood in the tank is a strong indicators that tannins have leached from the driftwood this is not a problem unless you keep fish requiring a significantly higher ph if driftwood is a cause the tinted water will clear over time 
as the tannins in the driftwood will eventually deplete. If you keep fish that require an alkaline pH, consider changing your aquarium decor to something that will not lower the pH. Secondly, biologicals. If the ammonia or nitrate levels are elevated, the biologicals or natural bacteria in the tank are not stabilized sufficiently to keep toxins in check because both ammonia and nitrite are potentially lethal to fish take steps immediately to lower them your quickest course of action is to do a significant water change a 50 percent water change will dilute the concentrations of toxins in your aquarium by roughly half you should test for ammonia and nitrites after the water change thirdly organics if the tank has lots of uneaten food, decayed plants or possibly a dead fish, it needs cleanup. Likewise, if the water is foamy or forms when shaken, there are a lot of dissolved organics in the water. Clean things up by removing all decaying materials such as uneaten food, dead plants or a fish corp. Vacuum the gravel and ensure the filter runs at standard output. If the filter is slow, Odds are it's clogged with debris, another potential organic source. To conclude, do not clean out the entire tank. Even if your tank is dirty, do not clean everything on the same day. Plan the cleaning regimen to allow the fish to adjust to the changes. If you also give your biological colonies a chance to recover as well. If you disrupt the filter and gravel bed simultaneously, you could make things worse instead of better. Do one, wait a week and then do the other. It may take some time to clean up the water but eventually it will resolve. Continue a regular maintenance regimen and the problem is not likely to recur. Guys if you like the content of this video then do subscribe to our channel Blue Aquatics. This will motivate us to create more videos. Also, ring the bell icon so that you will never miss any critical updates. So, have a happy fish keeping everyone.